Linux is great for a lot of things, but there are definitely some uh, quirks that you have to work around in, in regard to using an iPhone. If you say you just wanna transfer some photos, it can be done, but it's not very plug and play, at least not yet. So you're going to have to install a little bit of software and right now it's all like command line. We don't have a very good GUI yet to do this. Uh, so, give me a second. Let me reload this. I made a script, a very simple script that calls upon a few different programs. In order to m mount the phone, you're going to need to install a program called iDevice Pair, and also one called uh, iFuse. Now, there, there are packages in the Ubuntu repository, but I had issues with them connecting with the phone, and I went to GitHub to get the latest versions, the latest stable versions of iDevice, uh, I, iMobile device. I think is actually the name of the package and iFuse. Let me bring up those projects. So I'm not gonna walk you through how to install uh, these softwares because the instructions are uh, on GitHub and it may change. Yeah, so they have uh, some documentation on here. Let me show you how to use it. Uh, first, what I do is I've selected a location that I want to mount my phone to. And right now that's just the iPhone folder on my desktop. And then I use the fuser mount command that uh, comes with iFuse. And that will unmount, fuser mount dash U will unmount it if it exists. So to make sure everything is clean, we remove the directory. So it will actually delete the iPhone folder. Then it will pair with your device. This process is required before it's able to transfer any files from the iPhone to the computer. And after it has successfully paired, it will recreate the iPhone folder and mount it or link it so that the uh, files in the iPhone storage up here in the folder. So let's try it. The name of that little script that I made is Mount iPhone. That's what I called it. So I'm going to punch in my pin. Whenever you plug in, a dialog box should come up asking you if you want to trust the computer. And of course say trust. Now you can run the script and you 
should have seen the iPhone folder disappear for a second and come back. And we also get this success message from iDevice pair. And here you are all of the contents on the iPhone. Your camera stuff will be in here. And whatever else it, it gives, whatever else the iPhone gives you access to. And then of course to get out of there, it may uh, actually to unmount, you're probably gonna have to use fuse for mount. Now if we go into the uh, iPhone folder, you can see that it's empty. So it is a little bit of a crude process, but this is the current way to do it on Ubuntu.